Tis the season for snowblower action. So I'll do a real quick video here and talk about all of the points of interest for putting on the snowblower. Specifically here, we're talking a Kubota BX2380. And with it, I have a BX2816 snowblower attachment mid PTO. So here we go. All right, first things first, you're gonna have your quick attach uh, piece here, and this is the BX2810. And all you gotta do, this thing's about, I don't know, 50, 60 pounds, maybe something like that. You gotta put this, these hooks over the top of these nubs. And this, this piece right here gets installed at your dealership or something like that. And then all that happens is obviously you gotta take this pin out here, make sure, I put it back in there so I didn't lose it, but slide it right through. And then you pick it up right by, right by this. You can grab right under that, pick it up, slide it on top of these, they hook down. And then as it goes in, this, these holes right here, these four holes line up with these holes and you just slide this back through and put your pin in. All right, just put that on. And since I only do this once a year, I forget <laughs> a couple of the super small things. Number one, have your hydraulic hoses off to the side so they don't get in the way. And number two is you want this here lip or this hook, you wanna make sure when you put it on facing the tractor, you wanna make sure that this hook here is close to this piece here so it rides on this hook because you don't want it to be sitting over here because then this these, these pieces here won't line up and you won't be able to set it right and get your get your bar in there. And then, like I said, you can use this as a handle for your left hand or right hand, whatever, and grab it with the other one. Just pick it up and slide it right on there. And then put your put your bar in right there. I always put it in this side first. I like that. I don't know, it catches more. It's got more, less slop when you go like this with that pin up against this piece here. Okay, you get your quick attach uh, piece on there. And then all I did was I plugged in the hydraulics here. Obviously, yellow to yellow, white to white. I didn't want more pieces to break, so I only got the two hydraulic options. And then I turned it on. I lowered the hydraulics down. So this quick attach piece here could line up with these hooks on the snowboard itself and I turned it on drove it forward drove it this close and I guess we'll see if I can just do this without finessing it around let's see I'll give it a little push see if I can just get it to go there actually look at that a little left hand push turn it on Release your spring-loaded pins there. Full twist, there we go. And then push this forward here. And then don't forget, you got these, you got these mating hands. I didn't, that's the only thing I didn't talk about. But anyways, at the tip of this um, quick attach piece, and at the very back of the snowblower, you'll see them. There's these mating hands, these gears that got to line up, and it's kind of like its own PTO attachment. With this spring back, it's disengaged. Now they're engaged. Then the only thing left to do is to put on the PTO shaft. Then the last step you have is putting this PTO, this mid PTO shaft on. And what you do is you see the mid PTO there. All you do is you put this. Quick release 
on here and I don't know if you can see it but you see it's got springs in it you pull that back slide it over the splines and then you put this actually you put this one on first but put this one on slide it all as far as you can on the splines and then uh, just click that one on okay so I've done that put this one on first push it in as far as you can Go back here, that'll give you enough clearance to be able to slide that up and fit it over the rear spline on that PTO. Depress the quick release, push it on until it locks, and that spring on that quick release will push back out. You'll be locked on. The last thing you want is to have this thing go flying off. That'd be bad news. And then just give it a little tug, and it's on there. So. And then just to be sure, I'd recommend that you always grease your Zerks or any points of contact or rubbing. Just keep everything all greased up. I like to spray fluid film all over the front in here and the chute and stuff like that. And with Millings driveway here, you see little, little bits of stones get in there and scrape all that paint off real quick. So keep it greased. And last but not least, if you're messing with implements and changing hydraulics, take a gander at your uh, hydraulic fluid level in the back every once in a while, just to be sure. Once you load those lines, you want to be, you just want to make sure you're good. Okay, so I just looked at the clock, and in less than 25 minutes, and not doing it since you know only I do it seasonally on my own tractors, so I forget basically. But in less than 25 minutes, I got this mower deck off. That looks like something I gotta fix though. Well, that wheel back on. But I got that one off. Got the snow blower out of storage, off its sled, tipped it back off, rocked it back, drove it on, installed this new snow blower, or new snow blower, installed the snow blower. But, anyways, 25 minutes. And that right there is another reason that I bought this tractor for mowing and snow removal, which are two huge jobs here with living up north and having all these pastures and stuff this thing is killing it but the 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 time it takes to install these these implements can't beat it can't beat it i mean you know growing up with some older tractors or the cheaper tractors that you get for mowing your yards and stuff the time it takes to install and remove some of these implements or mower decks it is insane and how, how cheaply they are, how cheaply made they are and how many little parts and belts and all this crap i mean these the 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 way to install these newer kubota implements is so easy so easy it's it's well worth the expensive prices just just for that i hate wasting time anyways that's the video snowblower on we'll see how bad this winter is